everybody. Welcome back to the show. It is always nice to see our next guest. Absolutely. Lots of things going on in the world of theater, including their yearly uh, Big Theater Awards. Fred Lee joining us right now to talk about the Jesse Richardsons and much, much more. Hello. Hello. So How the are Jesse you two? Awards were great. What are they and you where know the Jessies are Vancouver's equivalent to the Tony Awards, yeah. and they certainly the theater community rolled out the red carpet in front of the Commodore Ballroom for one of probably the best parties. Yeah put on by an industry. The theater community certainly knows how to uh, party and get down, and they certainly did. They A thousand folks gathered oh, wow. to honor uh, winners in 33 categories. It was quite the night. Well, and the cool thing is, uh, you know, they so often work together and are changing production, so yeah. it really is a very tight-knit community as well. You know, and especially with these cutbacks, and there's yeah. my political statement, um, in arts funding, we saw a lot of co-productions this year. And in a, in a times when we thought, you know, we would be seeing less productions, believe it or not, there were more theater in this city than ever before. I so that. it just, it's really a testament to the resilience of this community. Yeah, well, and the innovation as well. Yes. And, and we've talked about that a few times, but uh, the innovation that we've seen in the theater scene over the last couple of years in the city are amazing. And they shouldn't have to be so innovative because of money. They should have to do that because that's our But you know, and, and and this year, uh, the winners were really indicative of um, funding cutbacks because there was a lot of co-productions and, you know, uh, Putnam County Spelling Bee, which I L-O-V-E loved oh, on the show. Did yes. they, you did love yes, it. Yes, they took best production. They did. And it was a co-production uh, between the Belfry and the Arts Club, and they really um, were the big winners of the night. They won three awards, including Best Production, Best Director, uh, Michael Shimada, and Best uh, Artistic Achievement by their ensemble it cast. It looks like a nice. fun yeah, production. It, it was F-U-N fun. Fun! It was freaking fun. You know, if you, were, if you were a good speller or a good Christian, you did well at the Jessies this year because Jesus hopped on the A train, took Best Production in small theater. Yeah. I unfortunately didn't get to a chance to see this co-production, but it was well worth seeing. Jesus you know, the Arts Club, I know. I just love the name, right? Jesus hopped the A train, yes! Yeah. Um, Arts Club was really the big winner uh, uh, of the night. They took home 10 Jessies. Wow. Yeah. Um, so along with uh, Putnam County Spelling Bee, they got accolades for um, Glengarry Glen Ross. That for, was a great one. That was fantastic. They got it for uh, the Flanderer for best costume and set design. And this is Putnam County? No, no this, this is Glengarry oh, Glen, Gary, Glen Gary. Ross. Yeah, right. um, Gerard Plunkett took uh, best actor. Nice. And uh, his good friend Eric McCormack was there to... Um, Honor it's so nice that I know. not only was in a production here, but it came back for Yes, came to back see to his friend pick up the award. And so, and of course, Bob Fraser, he picked up his seventh Jesse. Unbelievable. <laughs> he is really Vancouver's theater darling. He picked up a, a best uh, supporting actor for uh, Death of a Salesman. So, and that's what we're looking nice. at here? Yes. That's Excellent. Great. So it was a great night and great theater. And congratulations to all the winners. Also to... Uh, Jay and his friends at the Vancouver Theatre Sports who puts on an outstanding show yeah. every yeah, single year. Everybody Only thing else. missing was you two as presenters. Oh, oh Next someday. year. Someday. Next year. Now, you've yes. been uh, scolding us as well because both of us have been remiss in not seeing uh, one of your favorite productions Wicked. in Vancouver right yes. now. Wicked. Yes. Look how mad he is at us. I even brought the <laughs> wand because I am somehow going to magically make you appear at the QE Theatre before it's over this week. Now, I have heard everybody so much loves, about loves, loves, loves this production. Loves! And as, you know, uh, we mentioned last uh, last time, it was in town for a month-long uh, month run. And it's just an unbelievable, How much do you unbelievable love this? musical. The fact that it's a touring production, it brings all the bells and whistles that you may not normally expect in a touring production. Having a chance to speak to the cast, pretty much what you see on stage is what you would have seen in New York, in <coughs> Chicago. It is just an unbelievable production. As we know, it's all based on Gregory Maguire's uh, best-selling novel. Yep. You know, and it really talks about or what gives, happened before. They yes, because it's not easy being green. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, life's a witch, and then you die. <laughs> not really. But, you know, it does talk about Alfalba, who was born green, and the relationship between her and Glenn of the Good Witch. Yeah. And, you know, both played brilliantly by um, Anne Brummel and Natalie Duradic. And these two, as well as the um, two dozen actors, they're unbelievable. And the and, songs, too. Oh, I mean, 
there's only really one memorable song, and that's Defying Gravity. And I can sing it in my head right now. You and I, and we'll just sing it in the heads for the sake of our audience. We'll just sing it in our yeah. heads. Yeah. I can't sing it in my head, so I need to hear a little bit. You guys, one, two. No, 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 I'm no, not no, going to no, do no, that. No, no. It's you terrible. Know. You need to have a you good You need voice. to go see the show. But, you know, it is all singing, all dancing, great acting, the costumes. They won awards for pretty much everything, including Best Musical. Cool. And it really is well worth coming down to the Queen Elizabeth Theatre and checking it out before it okay, goes. Okay, let's quickly mm -hmm. talk about some Shakespeare. Shakespeare. The bod on the beach. Summer has finally arrived. Yep, Whenever sort of. those tents, <laughs> yes. Well, when <laughs> the tents pop up over at Vanier Park, for me, summer has arrived. Absolutely. Of course, we're talking about the 22nd season of Bard on the Beach. Christopher Absolutely. Gaze um, opens Very with a brand new tent. And uh, more seating, so some oh, 700 good. seats, wow. and so As You Like It is the production. So this is Shakespeare's cross-dressing like comedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's Just about... Just like Urban Rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the language in this, this is one, yeah. it's one of my favorite Shakespeare plays. Just because the, the humor and the language, it's very transferable. Yes, and, yes, it's very witty. It is pure, it's, I, you know, it's about Rosalind who um, falls in love with Orlando and to really confirm her, um, his love for her, she decides to dress as a man. It's basically like Facebook creeping back right. in the 16, <laughs> 17, back in the day. Yeah, so. Way to keep it current. Yes, yeah. yes. So <laughs> she basically, you know, the two of them are, out, are, are ostracized, so they're both thrown into the forest. She transforms into a man, meets up with him, of course, you know, helps him understand his love for Rosalind. As a man, she is. Um, uh, the catches the eye of another young lady who falls in love with her, which We've is got him. The triangulation. You get it, yeah. You know, the, the the plot's a bit of a spaghetti mess in terms of it's really convoluted, but it all makes sense yeah. in the end. And there's reconciliation. If you have the there's broad four strokes, weddings. You'll get it. Fred, yes, you need to have that wand with you. Yeah, at all you need oh, to I don't know, but stop anyways. playing with your wand I know, on okay. television. Okay, I, I, so so I think you know they do an admirable job. The actors are great. Lois Anderson does an incredible job playing the male female lead in this play. And always the costumes. That yes, hurt. brilliant. The and, and I think there's a little butt coming, just a little butt. Another one? You know, um, they're still trying to get used to the new stage, which is massive, but it's all in that BMO sponsor blue. So I don't think they have the lighting down yet, so right. it's a oh, little okay. dark. <laughs> right. uh, secondly, there's not much of a set. Um, these poor actors have to come in and out of these giant arches now that, that um, sort of um, shape the stage. You still get the beautiful Vanier Park okay. in the mountains as a backdrop, but I think there still needs to be a little work on the lighting and the staging. Um, Todd Thompson, the night I saw him, I didn't think was as best. I felt he was more yelling than acting. Projecting? Well, I that's know. a big theater. And well, maybe not... he was projecting or yelling because he thought, ooh, it's now 750 yeah. seats. I need well, to be a little a, louder. That's a big so. space, right? <laughs> liked big it, space. loved it, hated it. I liked it. There I liked it. So, you know, kudos to the bar because that was almost a $3 million campaign and they deserve to have a bigger, wow. a yeah, bigger sure stage. Do. And, um, you know, I think with some fine tuning, and as the the run gets a, goes a little deeper, yeah. um, the the cast will find but it. But it's a um, great summer going. tradition to it do. It is, it is, and I have to just put a, a big shout out for Ryan Bayless, who is you know the A and W guy. Oh, yeah, he yeah. also plays the comic clown in you know which which is always in every Shakespeare yeah. Yeah, um, production, and he just does a magnificent job Very to nice. keep it light along with the heavy stuff. And Very nice. There you well, go. Fred, thank Thanks, you Fred. so much. Thank uh, you. Once again, Wicked is playing through uh, June 26th at the Queenie, if nice. you want to check it out. And Bard, as you like it, runs straight through September. You can go to the website to find out all the showtimes and get tickets. Very nice. We're going to take a break.